So someone I know reached out to me and asked me to make a computer for them for editing and 3D work. So in this video, we will pick PC parts and create our own custom brand new PC from scratch. All the way from buying parts to repairing system and installing windows. This guy is on tight budget so we need to be conservative as possible here in picking parts while making sure it works well. I will also share important info along the way which will help you picking your own system, assembling it and setting up its BIOS settings and other things etc. So let's get started. For shopping, before we can go to shop or start shopping online, go to this website pcpartpicker.com. Pick your parts from here first before proceeding shopping. Because if you make a mistake, this site will tell you that you have made a mistake and change compatibility of your parts. So it's a very good resource to use. It will greatly minimize your mistakes. So first we pick our processor. You might be watching this in way long in future, but in year 2020, AMD has best consumer CPUs in market, not Intel. In future, it might be different, so make sure to check benchmarks and specs of processors before purchase. For editing in 3D, I at least recommend 3900X, but as he is on budget, we will go for 3600X. For motherboard, we will go for Gigabyte B450. It's good and decently priced. For PSU, we will use Corsair VS650 watt power supply. Do not keep out on your power supply. Many people make this mistake. They will get best most expensive parts and use a cheap shitty power supply. Keep in mind, power supply supplies power to entire system and if you cheap out on it, you can have lots of problems from system crashes and stability issues to hardware failure. So make sure it's from a famous brand who make lots of good computer stuff and is 80 plus rated. We will use Corsair 3000MHz RAM. For AMD system, it's important to use fast RAM as it really affects its performance. For Intel, you should be good with 2666MHz RAM, but for AMD, you should go for at least 3000MHz. In terms of RAM size, 32GB is recommended as of 2020 for editing, but we will have to go for minimum requirements here as he is on a tight budget. We will select 16GB because he cannot afford 32GB right now. We will use Gigabyte250GB SSD for operating system. Make sure to use SSD to install your OS, it will severely boost your computer speed. Using hard drive for operating system in 2020 will make your PC slow as hell. For secondary storage of videos, we will use Seagate 2TB hard drive. It's slow but you get lots of storage for cheap price. As of year 2020, hard drive will give you more storage on cheap, but SSD technology evolving very fast. They are becoming cheaper, more durable and even faster. In 2012, a 120 GB SSD costed above $100. Now in year 2020, you will find 1 terabyte SSDs under $100. In future, let's just say 2030, hard drives might have disappeared like floppy disks because they are very slow and SSDs will be way cheaper, faster and durable by that time. We will use Redmax Blazar for case. We will need GPU for display. A 1650 will be decent enough. He can play even heavy games at combination of medium and high settings on this card at 1080p 60fps. Everything went as planned except one thing. Gigabyte motherboard I picked was not available, so they switched to MSI B450 Tomahawk, which is in safe price. Okay guys, so all parts have arrived, as you can see, boxes have arrived, this is the case and this is the, these are the rest of the things, so we will open it and uh, make our computer. So here is our Redmax case, looks pretty cool. 
Here are all the parts. I forgot to order SSD, but I bought it from local store. Same gigabyte 50 GB SSD as I shown in video. Make sure to install graphics cards in top slot as it's the fastest. Let's start with the processor first. There is a triangle on CPU and triangle on socket, so make sure to align it the same way. This triangle is there to help you install CPU in the right way. To install fan, we need to remove these brackets. Keep in mind you don't always need to remove these. Some fans will require these brackets to place them on board. So make sure to check your fan before assembly. Even on AMD processors, they come with different fans. So make sure you check it and see if it needs brackets or not. You can easily see by checking fan design. Over here, thermal paste is already applied. But if your fan base has dry metal, then you will need to apply thermal paste. Just little piece size in middle and then place fan on top of it. Don't forget to apply this bracket first. If you forget, then you will have to take out whole motherboard and then apply bracket. So my camera battery went low and I lost lots of important footage. By time I knew, computer was ready and only graphics card was absent. Now I am recording from my phone while my camera charges. So everything is ready, let's press the power button. Remember first time booting or if you change something in PC it will always take long, can even take up to 1 minute sometimes before even anything comes on screen, so be patient. So computer didn't start for 2 minutes. As I check the board, CPU light is on, that means something related CPU is having issue. It can be simply like loose cable during assembly to power supply not providing for proper power. I will have to do some testing. So I found out the issue. I picked my motherboard Gigabyte B450 from website. But the computer store didn't have the one I picked. So they confirmed with me and replaced it with MSI B450 Tom Hall. It turns out the board they sent is not compatible with this CPU. Now sockets are compatible but board needs a BIOS flash. What this basically means is that board was manufactured before this CPU was invented. So its BIOS doesn't have the information. So let's update the BIOS first, then we can proceed further. As you can see, BIOS is updating. It should take not more than 5 minutes to update. This red blinking means it's doing its work. Okay, so BIOS is done. Time for final switch movement. Hopefully there are no more issues. 
monitor is on but no signal yet oh signal is there yay and now we are in bios settings now i will check all the parts settings such as hard drive ram etc and make sure they are shown as they should be then proceed to windows installation everything was fine except one problem when i checked ram settings speed it was showing was 2133 megahertz which is very slow ram i bought was 3000 megahertz in order to fix this issue just enable xmp profile it will be named as xmb or in my case it is called axmp it was disabled before and i enabled it here reason it happened is because sometimes board doesn't understand the right speed so if you enable xmp profile it will know the correct settings xmp profile is basically info inside ram which is about its correct settings okay so now windows is installed after this he will install his personal programs in computer and my work is done sadly my camera went out of power otherwise i was planning to record all steps in super detail now it will most likely be quick speedy video but i go through lots of things including computers everyone asks me to help with their electronics machines etc so in future i will make a detailed video about computer assembly as soon as i get my hands on one anyhow i hope this video help you guys please like it and subscribe as it really helps the channel i will make more videos about electronics computers automotive bikes and other machines or products in future and ask all your difficult questions you can ask anything in description and i will try my best to answer every single one see you guys again